What is good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to do an animation for your clothing brand and it's fairly easy to do and quick to do so let's not waste any more time and let's get into it so first what you're gonna have to do is simply open a folder where you have your clothes that you want to show up and simply drag and drop them click on the layer panel right there right click click on new solid and pick a white solid you could add a gradient if you want now the background is done. So what we can do now is simply import the clothes inside of our timeline to make the animation. We'll simply import the front part of your clothes, like this, and just place it wherever you want. I'll place it at the far left, like this. And for the animation, what I'll do is give a simple rotation. So in order to do that, just click on the tube right there, click on the drop down menu, I'll click on transform, and I'll simply play with the, the Y rotation right there. So put a key from here and skip a few frames like this, add another keyframe, and go to the first keyframe that you made and simply rotate it a little bit. It's not smooth, it is normal, so just simply select all of your keyframes, click on F9. Now what you're gonna have to do to move it all up is simply select all of your keyframes, click on graph editor, push this thing right there to the wall, and I just push this thing right here to its even. Import the back part of the shirt. So what I'm, I wanna do with this hoodie is simply, like I want it to go something like this. You know what I'm saying? So in order to do that, I'll just hide it under there like this. I'll click on the drop down menu position. But I'll, I'll put the first keyframe right after uh, the other shirt has finished spinning. Right there. And I'll just drag it. So, okay. so now select all of your keyframes. Okay, that's mine. And again, this is the same process. Graph editor. Just make sure the graph is smooth. But there's a little problem. I don't want to see the, the back of the shirt standing still while the other one is spinning. So what you can do about it is simply... So what you can do is just cut the whole part where you don't want to see the, the back of the shirt. So this was it for the animation of the shirt. Now what we're going to have to do is simply put the title of the shirt. It's really simple, so let's do it. So what you're going to have to do is simply click right there on the T and simply start writing something. You can play with the values right there in this text panel. You can change the color so it fits the, the whole vibe more. And I'll change the font. So I'll take this font right there and just make sure to just look at it. This is the name of the shirt basically, but I don't want it to be as big as that. So I'll just make it a little bit smaller and I'll place it right in the middle of the hoodie word. So what you can do to, to make all of the text move together is simply recomp them. So set the hoodie, the hoodie text and the fear kills text and control shift and C and name them text now you can move them you can even scale them up now what we will do is simply add the uh, price tag just go ahead on the effects tab search for text numbers okay now just make sure that the numbers is right where you want it to be put the decimal at two you can change the color with the fill color option you can see now what you're gonna have to do is simply try to increase the number so it's really simple go on effects numbers i'll go on format and click on value once you added your first keyframe just go a little bit further and just click on the value right there put in the price that you actually want to sell the hoodie for so i'll pick 30 for example i'll just smooth it all out graph editor same graph let's make sure to adjust number and what i like to do with the numbers effect simply add a directional blur effect to make it look better so what i'll do with this directional blur effect put a keyframe at the beginning of the the timeline put the blur up and right where the number is at 30 i'll put the blur length at zero so it gives us something like that. i think it's better okay so we have this so far and what i think will make everything looks better is simply the shadow effects on everything so what i mean by that is simply select the drop shadow effect like this and just put it on the text like so adjust it a little bit and simply do the same for the shirts and what is left to do is simply the composition the compositing and just add some extra effects some blur and everything so what we can do is simply ctrl a everything ctrl shift c to compose or you can you could just right click and click on pre-compose click comp uh, say okay so what i'm gonna do is simply search for a contrast effect this i'll put the contrast up brightness down a little bit just experiment with what you like to be honest we put a little glow effect um i'll add some grain this was the base to start an animation and it's really simple to do in my opinion and if it was helpful don't forget to leave a like share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel and let me know what other tutorial you want me to do see you in my